Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Agian and here's some of the stories we're looking at tonight. Juan Luis, CEO, calls it quits. Another establishment is robbed at gunpoint and your Caribbean report. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. In our top story tonight, Juan Luis Hospital CEO Gregory Caliste has officially resigned his post. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this report. Juan Luis CEO Greg Caliste has officially announced his resignation. He's going to accept a job at a New York City hospital. Now, meanwhile, Carmelo Rivera, who is the Juan Luis board chairman, says he accepts the resignation with a heavy heart. Now, uh, Mr. Caliste will remain on his post until mid-October. And meanwhile, he will be attending a 500-bed facility in New York City. Meanwhile, Chief Operating Officer Ms. Doris Plaskett. Um, Ms. Plaskett has stepped into the CEO role in the past when Kalise was off island. So she could be um, the next CEO here at Juan Louis Hospital if the board approves her and, of course, if she accepts it. Um, Kalise goes on to say that he has no animosity, no bitterness, and no disagreement. And I um, also want to take this time to say that uh, Juan Louis Hospital has certainly had their shares of up and ups and downs um, in the past. Uh, you might remember that it was May of 2008 when five masked men um, broke into Juan Louis here and they executed Shadrach Fret, who was supposedly being guarded um, by law authorities here. And uh, of course, that news made headline news in the states but Juan Louis overcame that just like they overcame accreditation as the staff here pulled together and got this hospital accredited. I, I also have to tell you on a personal note that I spent um, yesterday here from about 2.30 in the afternoon in the emergency room uh, all the way till around 7 o'clock and I have to tell you that I was treated really professional that the staff here at the emergency room I have to tell you, I've been here countless of times, but I believe right now Juan Louis, at least in the emergency room anyway, is at its all best. Lots of survey cards around and so forth, and everyone just treated me uh, really good. And so I just want to say that on a personal note. And of course, um, we have to look um, what will happen in the future. Uh, don't forget the cardiac center. That's another thing that I had to uh, mention here, that the uh, cardiac center is a big plus to Juan Louis. So with that, we'll have to wait and see what happens. We certainly wish Greg Calise the very best. And again, he will remain at this post until mid-October. Here at Juan Louis Hospital, I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And now a follow-up to that story. And we have an exclusive interview with Juan Louis Hospital Board Chairman Carmelo Rivera. And we have caught up with uh, hospital board member Carmelo Rivera. And, uh, well, uh, Mr. Rivera, like I said in my piece um, just now, that Juan Louis has certainly seen um, its ups and downs and so forth. And like I have to say on a personal note, um, the emergency room anyway was was um, just fantastic to me yesterday. That's all I could say about that. Um, but it seems that the staff and the personnel there in general is holding their own and the morale is up and so forth. So like you said, it's a heavy heart that you see uh, Greg Calise uh, take that post in New York. Well, I tell you um, about the hospital, we have a lot of talent in the hospital. And one of the things that we probably could do a little bit better on is to advertise the caliber of services that we have to offer. I think we don't do a, a good enough job telling people what we have, and it's a quite. And I, I get people in the street telling me how well they were treated. Uh -huh. uh, occasionally, we get a, a complaint, but I think overall we have a very good situation. Uh, and yes, uh, regarding Mr. Kalis, uh yes, we are in a transition mode. Uh, CEOs basically are like um, 
major league players. Um, you know, hospitals want them and they pay and they, you know, they attract them. Just like base baseball, you pay the, the right price, you draw the talent. And of course, he's going to New York City. Uh, it is our job to get the best talent we could get to replace him at the hospital. I remember one quote that I read was, I, I accepted the offer that I could not refuse. Uh, uh, right, that's it, you know. That's, you so know. Where we stand right now, Ben, is that you go back and you have a lot of meetings today, you were telling me, on your agenda, and of course you'll be looking for a new CEO as Mr. Khalees stays in his post until mid-October. Right. Uh, with that, then, um, any hints on who's going to come aboard next? Well, you know, we've always had a mechanism for uh, providing leadership when somebody is out. So we're not going to change that, of yeah. course. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Right. Well, I'm sure the okay. community will be behind you, and that's what you would want and to expect. And so, um, once again, we'll try to get that word out because when negative things happen, the media gets it, and when positive things happen, it seems like you don't get enough publicity. That's the way that it is, is in a lot of that departments. I know you're very busy. So, and we, yep. And so okay, you'll we keep thank you for your support, okay? Uh, no problem. All Carmelo right. Rivera, and we'll have to see what happens with the replacement of Greg Callist. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. And a Peter's Rest business was robbed last night at gunpoint. News Channel 8's Wes Small has more. Before we do Crime Stoppers, however, however, I'd like to start with what happened at the, we believe, at the Imasa um, Bar and Restaurant. We're looking at file footage of that now. That's in the State Peter's Rest around the corner from Coca-Cola. They were robbed last night, um, we believe, by some masked men suspects. We're looking for them. They robbed the patrons there of undisclosed amount of money as they brandished their weapons. And um, details are still sketchy. I'll try to get with Melody Rames on that information a little bit later but we are looking for some suspects that robbed that facility that bar and restaurant that was around 9 30 last night okay now let's get to crime stoppers then and police now need additional information to solve a cold case in april of 2004 we're looking at the homicide of 44 year old francisco martinez he was shot multiple times by an unknown suspect martinez was a fisherman just like these guys across the street here at lorraine he was killed as he was simply trying to feed his family as he prepared his catch of fish for sale during the easter holiday we hope we get the murderers of him on St. John, police are seeking information on a robbery that happened June 15th of this year near the Islandia building above the Dolphin Market area. A male victim was robbed of cash, then he was shot at, and then he was pistol whipped. The suspect was described as being a black man, five foot seven, wearing a gray shirt and dark pants. His face was covered with a shirt. Also, let's go to Rock City, St. Thomas, where police need help identifying four men who robbed patrons at the Tipico Bar and Restaurant at Dronskanen's Gata on June 1st. Witnesses said four armed men dressed in all black and they took cash and jewelry and then fled the area. Remember, community members can submit your tips to Crime Stoppers at 1 800 222 TIPS. That's 1-800-222-8477. Remember this, Crime Stoppers has authorized its 20th reward this last week, and rewards are almost to $20,000, 19535 to be exact. If you've submitted a tip, please check to see if you're entitled to a cash reward, because the window of opportunity ends in six months. That's when the cash expires, and I guess it just goes right back into the kitty. So that's your Crime Stoppers report, plus the armed robbery that happened at Peter's Rest and that bar, Yamasa, at the bar and restaurant. If you know anything about that case or the cold case or any of the crimes that I've mentioned in Crime Stoppers, you should call 1 800 222 TIPS, 1 800 222 8477. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. And of course, tomorrow is Jump Up Friday, and it's Alexander Hamilton's Jump Up. So everybody come out and have a good time. The festivities begin at 6 p.m., so the streets of Christiansted will be closing around 5 p.m. Find a good place to park, have a lot of fun, and you'll see a lot of great bands. The Steel Pan Orchestra will be performing, as well as Junie in the Jungle, and a whole lot more. And stay with us on News Channel 8. A whole lot more news is up next. Your Caribbean Report. Stay with us. <laughs> 